everyone welcome back to another vlog i feel like it's been a minute since i have actually done a vlog so today is saturday it's about 10 o'clock today i decided that i was going to get ready get cute do my hair do my makeup and we're gonna go to the domain and take some pictures i have not taken pictures in a really long time i've been posting reels so if you guys don't follow me on instagram definitely follow me on instagram i have been posting a lot more reels but i also want to get some pictures out today so that's what we're gonna do so yeah i'm hoping to be done by like 12 o'clock that gives me like two hours literally so i'm just gonna get started on my hair and my makeup and we can just like kind of fast forward through this process you guys can watch and then we'll head over to the domain to actually start taking pictures Okay, hey everyone, so really quickly, I want to interrupt the vlog because I want to show you guys some glasses that I got from Vogue Me. So lately, I've just been kind of wanting to get into more accessories, and I really have been looking at just like kind of nice statement glasses that just kind of add a little bit, you know, to your outfit. So today, I'm working with Vogue Me. I picked out a couple of their eyeglass styles, so let's just get into trying them on. Okay, guys, so this is the first pair. I actually really do like these. I feel like the shape is really nice on my face, but these are pretty cute. How do you guys feel about this style? I feel like with the curly hair, it's really cute. I would normally go for just like an all black frame, but these have a little bit of the tortoise up here and kind of a blue color at the bottom I just really like the shape of them on my face so this is the first one I'm trying on but it just might be my favorite but we'll just have to wait and see okay so this is the next style I feel like these might be my favorite even though it's the second one we have tried on I feel like I like these a little bit more than the first pair I kind of like holding it like this just for the try on because my lashes are kind of long today so I don't want them really pressing up against the lashes so I'm just gonna hold it like this so I can see a little bit better but also you guys can see the style of the glasses so this pair is more of like a clear frame and I guess it has like kind of an orange coloring around the side of the rim. You guys can see that a little bit. So let's move on to the third pair. Okay, so this is the third style. This is more like a purple frame with kind of clear ends. It comes to like a corner and they're clear right here. I feel like these are pretty cute. It's not the usual type of glasses that I would go for, but I feel like that's kind of why I like it. It's something different. So let's move on to the fourth pair. Okay, so again with this pair, I'm just gonna hold it so it's not pressing up against my lashes, but I don't know what it is about this one, but I really like it. And it has some color. It's not a whole lot of color. I think I like it because it's kind of like that square shape, but it does have that subtle color to it so on the ends right here it's kind of like this magenta purple color then towards the middle it fades to like a blue kind of teal color and then at the very middle it's kind of like a tan shade so it's kind of like an ombre from that purple to teal to tan I don't know I like it it's different but the shape looks good on me I like how it's a bit of a smaller frame again that's kind of why I'm holding it because I just don't want it pressed up against my lashes so yeah these are definitely pretty cute okay so these last two frames are two that the brand just decided to send to me this one has a lot of color I think it's kind of outside my comfort zone I like the overall shape of the frame and how it looks on my face but I just don't know if this color is something I would naturally be drawn towards. I think that they are cute but they're just not really you know my style my vibe but if this is someone's style and they just rock it in that way I think it'd be really cute on them. It's just personally for me I'm not really a fan of the super bold colors but the overall shape of the frame I think is really cute. Okay so this is the last style again this is a style that the brand just decided to send. Again not really my vibe with this kind of bright color but the shape is kind of unique. I wouldn't naturally be drawn towards the shape either but for some reason I think the shape is actually kind of cute if I kind of want an accessory that's a little bit different I feel like I could actually see myself wearing the shape but I would probably prefer like an all black frame or like a brown frame something like that so this one has kind of a print and design in opposite corners and the rest of the frame is just orange so yeah that's pretty much it for this little haul and review of these Vogue Me glasses again thank you to Vogue Me for sponsoring this part of the video and one thing I do like about the Vogue Me site is that you're able to upload your picture and kind of try on the glasses virtually so if you guys want to try on some glasses and even order some for yourself I do have a discount code which is ASH15. I will leave it on screen as well as put it in the description box. So make sure you guys check the description box for links to all six glasses I tried on as well as my discount code. But let's hop right back into the vlog.
Okay guys, so this is pretty much the finished look. I like my makeup, but I don't know. There's like parts about it I don't like. I don't think I did my nose area contour the best. And also I've been creasing underneath my eyes a lot. I just, I don't really know like how to avoid it because I naturally have like a crease there. So it's like if I have a crease before makeup, I'm most likely gonna have a crease after makeup. But I feel like it's just been like a lot more noticeable lately. And like it just creases a lot earlier. Like right now I'm already creasing underneath my eye and I literally just did my makeup. Up. But besides that, I feel like it looks decent. I've been using some of these new Juvia's Place products. Like I have the bronzer and the blush, the lipstick and the lip gloss. And I really do like their products, especially the bronzer. This is what it looks like. So you have kind of a lighter one and then a darker one at the bottom. It's really nice and rich. So I really like it to add some warmth to my face. And then I've really been liking the blush palette too. So we have like a more pink rosy one and then like a nice orange one down here, which I actually feel like I could add a little bit more blush. I like to use these blushes and then go on top with my Milani blush especially because this one has like kind of a glow it's almost kind of like a highlight and blush and one but it's not super dramatic I'm just gonna add a little bit more because I really like blush but yeah so this is pretty much my finished hair and makeup if you guys want to see how I was able to get this look I know I showed you guys a little bit in those clips but I have a dedicated tutorial on this unit this is the chem unit from innovative weave so I'll just like leave the thumbnail here and I'll link that video in the description bar but yeah I really do like this this is probably my third or fourth time wearing it it's just really easy to slap on and I don't need a lot of leave out which is how I'm able to kind of get my leave out to blend with this curly texture because obviously my hair has no curls at all. I am relaxed. You can kind of even see like this is my hair right here. But I just use those really small flexi rods to just make it kind of get that curl. And even if my hair is sticking out like this, it's not super obvious that that's my hair because it is curled. So I just kind of like blend it in. I kind of take a little piece of the unit. I take my hair and I kind of twist it. Then I just curl it at the end and just kind of make it blend. But some pieces like the front right here, I just like let it be and I let it do whatever. I also have a piece on the side right here. I feel like it blends pretty well. I think it looks pretty good and cute and it's really easy to do But I did want to wear this unit today because I want to take some pictures in it because today is Sunday So the video on this hair should be going live tomorrow if the brand approves it So I just want to get some pictures in the hair so I can kind of pub the YouTube video But yeah, right now it is 11 47 So I think I just have to like pack up get all my camera stuff my tripod put my makeup like powder lip gloss Lipstick lip liner all that stuff in a bag put my outfits in the car and I think we're good to go. It just sucks. I literally chose the worst day to take pictures because this morning I woke up and said it was 33 degrees outside. I live in Austin, Texas so like that's pretty cold for us. Um, right now it's about 49, 50 degrees so it is warming up a little bit but the highest it's going to be today is 58 degrees. I really want to take pictures last week but um, what was I doing? I think I, oh, I had to film again last week so yeah um, I wasn't able to do that so now I get to take pictures in the cold. So I'm really just today I'm like trying to get them out the way I literally just want like a picture of like my waist up so I can like really show the hair and then I want like a full body picture if I can get those two I'm good to go so I'm just gonna pack up and get ready and then we're gonna head over to the domain so we can actually take these pictures some people are gonna think that I'm crazy but I don't care all that matters to me is Isaiah <laughs> Okay y'all, so I finally made it to the domain. I just came to like a parking garage for this first, I really just want two pictures today. Uh, like a picture like from the waist up and then maybe a full body picture. I don't know, but we'll see. But so this is the first outfit for the first picture. I'm just wearing kind of this dress from Pretty Little Thing, but really I just want it for my waist up. So on the bottom, I have on some sweats and my Uggs because I don't know, I just, I really don't care. I just want to get this picture. So yeah, I just came to this parking garage and then there is kind of just like this blank wall right here. I think that's what I'm just gonna take the picture right in front because I just want to focus on the hair since I do have a video coming out tomorrow on this hairstyle and just install all of that. It's either going to be like a picture on my feed or I want it to be a cover image for a reel so I don't know we'll see. But yeah let's go ahead and take this first picture. I haven't taken my own pictures in a long time so I feel like I'm gonna be a little bit rusty but I'm gonna just let you guys watch. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so I just took a couple pictures right there on that wall. Now I'm gonna look at them actually on my phone so I can be sure that I got a good one before I move on to the next location and next type of outfit. So I'm just gonna take my SD card out of my camera and I have like this little phone adapter so I can read everything that's on the SD card on my phone. And then there's a spot that says import. I'm actually gonna show you guys. So it says import right here and that way I can see all the pictures that I just took. So I'm just gonna go through some of these and see if I have one that I like before I move on. This is literally the first one that I'm looking at and I think I like it. I think it might be a good cover image. It looks cute, the hair looks cute. So it usually is not that easy where I just like the first one that I see. I like when shoot days are just easy like this where I can literally just knock out a couple of pictures, I got it and I move on. Okay, so after I choose the picture that I like, which is this one, I plugged it into this app called Unum where I can kind of look at my feed and kind of see how I want it to go. So this is gonna be my next picture I know. So I put it right there. So this is pretty much how my feed is gonna look. So I like to use this because I can move things around, plan it and just see how my feed is gonna look. Okay, so we're in the same parking garage. I'm just kind of walking a little bit further and I think I'm gonna take a picture kind of against this wall right here. I don't know, just something simple. So hopefully we can knock these pictures out and be done for the day. It is so bright, sorry. But um, I finished taking my last set of pictures. I think I'm done. Like I just kind of wanted a kind of hair type of picture and then like kind of full body. It wasn't even full body, but it was like maybe my knees and up or thighs and up. But now I think I'm just gonna run some errands. So I got this coupon in the mail yesterday from Bath and Body Works and I can actually get a free full size body care item, no purchase necessary. And then there's another one for 20% off my entire purchase. So I'm definitely gonna use the free full size body care item. I don't know what I'm gonna get, probably like a lotion yeah, I probably like a lotion. I don't think I want body wash or spray. Ooh, or do they have like perfume actually? I don't know. Well, it says up to $15, $50 value, so never mind. Definitely just getting a lotion. And then I think I might want to run to Zara. I don't think I want to buy anything because like my birthday's coming up and I've already been shopping for that. But I just kind of want to go in and look and see what they have. I kind of feel like I shouldn't go to Zara because I'm most likely going to find something that I really like. And my thing with Zara is if you see it, you should probably get it get it because they probably won't have it next time you're there so I don't know but yeah so I think we're gonna go to Bath and Body Works I'm actually gonna change back into my sweats and my Uggs only because like these jeans that I'm wearing they're a little bit big around my waist so I have to keep on pulling them up I was just gonna wear this because I'm already dressed but I'm gonna change back into my sweats put this jacket over it put my Uggs back on I'm wearing these Zara boots you guys may have seen them when I was taking pictures I really like them um, I've only worn them once and they killed my feet I don't know if I have to break them in or if they're just uncomfortable so I kind of wanted to wear them today so I could actually break them in a little bit but it's like by the hill it gives me like a blister so I don't know I have to find a solution to that maybe I just have to walk around in them a little bit and actually break them in but yeah they hurt like they're not hills or anything they're literally just flats their boots so I don't know why they hurt like this but yeah let's go ahead and run some of those errands so first I think I'm just gonna change kind of pull over to the side and just change in the back of my car then we're gonna go to Bath and Body Works and then we're going to go to Zara. Okay, so I just parked so I can go into Bath and Body Works. I don't think I want to bring my camera inside just because there's like a lot of people. Honestly, I don't like when people are just staring at me. It's weird when I'm vlogging by myself, um, but when I'm with someone else, I feel a little bit more comfortable. So I might just vlog on my phone. Um, this quality is good too. So yeah, either my camera or my phone, I'm not sure yet, but we're about to go in and I'm just gonna look around and probably pick up that free lotion. I don't know what scent I want, so I'm probably just gonna smell different lotions too. I think I'm gonna get a lotion because I don't know what else I wanna get. So yeah, let's just go into Bath and Body Works and see what I can find. Tell me what you say now.
so I went to Bath and Body Works. By the way, I vlogged on my phone. I feel like the footage came out pretty cute. I haven't edited it or anything, but just like looking at it, I feel like it looked pretty good. But yeah, so I went to Bath and Body Works. My total was like $12. The girl said that originally it was $58. So right now they are having a sale, but also they're having a sale. Some things are like 75% off. Some things are $10 off. Some things are 50% off. They're having like a good sale right now. With the sale and with my coupons, I only spent $12. That is so good. My total discount was $35.56. But anyways, I want to show you guys the things that I got really quickly before we go to Zara. So I really don't care for like their body sprays. Um, I don't know. I just, I don't really use them. But this one smelled pretty good. This is Cashmere Glow. I feel like body sprays, stuff like this, I'll just keep in my car. And then so for the free body care item, I got In The Stars, just a lotion. And I don't know. Sometimes I really like their scent. Sometimes I'm just like, whatever. Lately, I haven't been really finding a scent there that I like. This one smells good. It's like kind of a neutral, vanilla, kind of sweet type of smell. So probably gonna keep this in my car too. And then I picked up a soap. I literally never get their soaps, but originally it is $7.50. And then this was on sale too. So I think it was like $2.50. So I was like, why not? I haven't even smelled this one, but this one is their toasted vanilla chai. So I'm actually gonna smell this one right now. Hopefully I like it. Mm. <laughs> mm. It's okay. It's not bad. The more I smell it, the better it smells. It kind of reminds me of a coffee creamer. I honestly don't drink like coffee like that. I drink like frappuccinos and sweet drinks. I like the smell of coffee. Just for some reason, I do not like the taste. Okay, yeah, this one smells good. I'm gonna put this in my bathroom upstairs. And then I got five of their little hand sanitizers because I think it was five for eight dollars. Something like that, I don't know. I got pineapple coconut and then I got champagne toast. And then I got Into the Stars, which is like the hand sanitizer version of the lotion that I got and honestly these hand sanitizers I didn't smell any of them I just kind of picked them up especially like with COVID going around everything I do have sanitizers but I just wanted to re-up on some of these really small ones where I can clip it onto my bag or something like that and then I got the peach prosecco macaron I also got the rose water and ivy I want to know what that one smells like because I don't know and then lastly I just got one of the holders for the hand sanitizer these are only a dollar fifty for some reason I was expecting these to be like five dollars so I just picked that up but yeah I got all that stuff for only twelve six so that's pretty good but now we're gonna just head over to Zara I want to say I don't want to find anything that I like but also I really do want to find stuff I like so it's okay if I find stuff I like but if I find something I like and I buy it I want it to be for my birthday because right now I'm only trying to make purchases for my birthday even though I bought the body work stuff has nothing to do with my birthday but then again it was only $12 so that's whatever but yeah as far as like clothing and stuff I've really only been trying to buy stuff for my birthday because I can buy stuff for after my birthday after my birthday right hopefully we find some stuff that's nice i don't know i just know how i am with zara it's like if i find something i really like i don't like to pass it up so let's just go ahead and see what they have i miss my cocoa butter kisses hope you smile when you miss me ain't no competition just competing for attention in you like i'm not on no games but baby i be peeping and you ain't been the same like who been on your okay so i'm finally back from zara it was packed in there i was in line to go to the dressing room for about 30 minutes right now my back is killing me <laughs> i just have a bad back and it's been a long day but yeah zara was having a sale i totally forgot that zara sale was going on so i ended up getting some stuff that isn't for my birthday but it was on sale so i tried on some stuff in the dressing room i showed you guys what i tried on i ended up getting those black pants they actually fit really well i think that those are cute i got the orange button down shirt which when i wear i want to actually tie it in the front i couldn't show you as well and then the dressing room because I didn't have on the right bra so it's not gonna look exactly how I will actually wear it and then while I was in line to check out with those two items I saw that they had a white bodysuit and I have like the black bodysuit the brown bodysuit purple bodysuit a dark blue bodysuit a light blue bodysuit that's a tongue twister and I've been needing a white one so I saw the white one in line so I just decided to pick that up so yeah I really only got three things I got the pants the orange top and then the white bodysuit so I think I did pretty good today but yeah today has been a long day so my makeup and hair earlier took some pictures went shopping so i think it was actually a pretty productive day i got 
yeah i think i got everything done that i need to get done today i actually went to take some clothes to goodwill i didn't end up doing that so i guess i'll do that like tomorrow or something but overall i accomplished everything on my checklist plus a little bit more from shopping at zara but yeah you guys that's pretty much it for the vlog i think i'm going to close it out here because right now it is six o'clock i've been out all day so i'm literally just about to head home probably eat some dinner because i'm kind of hungry so that's pretty much it of the vlog just kind of like a hangout with me spend the day with me type of vlog if you guys like these vlogs or just vlogs in general make sure to give the video a thumbs up comment down below what you thought also if you have any tips on under eye creasing comment that down below because i just don't know what's going on but don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next vlog